you know, every time I go by, whoever brought those flowers, that's the second batch of new flowers that are on the ground. But people keep, people come and visit her. And I know she's in dire need of repair, but I know that the parishioners or even, I would go, and I'm sure everyone else would, go from house to house to raise money to have her repaired. Um, do you all agree? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I know people are going to say she's a statue, but it's the Blessed Mother, and she's here all by herself, and it's sad to go by here every single day, maybe three times, four times a day, and to see her here, the church is empty, um, she needs to be in her new home on Lakeview Ave at the new church, like everything else that went from the church, why would uh, she have to stay here alone? Now, what was the original plan to have it moved? No one knows what the original plan is or was or um, what is going to happen to her. <laughs> we, I know my husband and I keep asking and we never get an answer. Um, one time, we were told that she has to stay here, but everything else left. So why was she chosen to have to stay? She should be, should have been the first one to leave. And being a Catholic, um, you know, I, I would take her first before I would take anything else. I, I'd rather sit in a chair. Um, leave the pews here, but to take the Blessed Mother first. On our way to church, on a Saturday at 4 o'clock Mass, we were going down the street the opposite direction, but I always turn around and look at the Blessed Mother. And she was on her side uh, on the ground, and it was in the winter. So I told my husband we had to stop. We both got out of the car. We were trying to pick her up, and we couldn't. She, she's that heavy. Very heavy. So we went to charge and after mass, uh oh, Daryl. <laughs> and after mass, my husband and I asked Father, Ron, told Father Ron she was on her side and on the ground, and he said he would take care of it. My husband said, "I'll have my crew come down and pick her up," and he said, "No." And then my husband said, "We will move the Blessed Mother free of charge to the new church," and he said, "No." We have moved, but we will have a special place for her when the place is sold. And that has been told to the parishioners before, that it will be moved when the place is sold. And so that's why it hasn't been moved yet. We have not forgotten her. She will not be left here when the place is sold. It's a shrine. And the town of Tings uh, Dracut wants to charge us real estate tax. This is a shrine. That's a, 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 a Connected to a church, and so that's why we have left it here for the time being. And so, you know, uh, it just I was surprised that someone person has asked, but without asking the source. I, Father Ron, yeah. excuse me, my husband and I both asked you on two different occasions. And what was my answer? That she had to stay here until the property was, was sold. sold. That's right. And but. Yes. The rest of it wasn't said to us that oh, this didn't. was a shrine and that she well, was, she was going to get moved. Oh, yeah, well, that's, that, that's, that, that's, those are the questions, you know, you need to ask those questions. I'm happy to answer them. And uh, other parishioners have asked, and that's yes. what I've said, it's been here for a shrine. It's been here as, as a shrine because people stop and pray. And so we're re allowing people, encouraging people to still pray to her. But once this place is sold, she will be moved to a proper place which is already designated at the new church. And so... But I don't understand why she has to stay here by herself. Because of... Well, she's not by herself. Let's let's realize that. She's not to by us, herself. To us, when we look at her father on in our hearts, she looks okay, like she's that's, by Okay, her. that's your, your own personal interpretation. She is everywhere. She I is everywhere, and the Lord is with her. And the reality is, is the town of Dracut wants to charge us sales tax, uh, uh, real estate tax. And this is a shrine, and so we are honoring the fact that it's a shrine. And so that's why she's here, but she will be taken to be with the parish, because she's part of the parish. She will not be lost when we sell the property. 
she's already lost to me now. Well, that, okay, that, that's where you are. That's where you are, and I'm sorry that you're in that, that state. And I'm sorry I maybe didn't give a full answer when, you, when you've when you asked. I, it must have been on the way out of church that perhaps that question was asked. And I, you know, one person after another is going by, so, uh, you know. So essentially it helps preserve the tax-exempt status? Well, no, they, st they wanted to charge us tax. So if you keep the shrine, you don't have to pay? Well, it's, it's still part of our negotiation with the I town. See with the town and so you know it, they want they sent it submitted us a bill for two thousand over two thousand dollars but didn't yeah. we have a collection for the tax we did yes you said that you needed somebody to cut the lawn i would have been here yeah. well, i just no, assumed our custodian just, is doing that right and that's what i assume but i'm looking i'm looking at the weeds this is this is a terrible setup well, it is. How much should be here? Should be up there. Right. Well, but but you don't hear the rest of the story. But then, the yeah, we have a lot of weeds at the new church too. I, I when I I pack oh, in the park, very good. back, very back good. parking very good. lot. Have you seen Have you seen the waterfall? Have you seen the front garden? I mean, come on, Roseanne. Huh? And how long has this been up for sale? This building? How it's been two years. Yeah, and we, and we picked it up as soon as we found that it was knocked over, and that was an act of vandalism. She was knocked over, but I think she's also protecting the place too. You, you can look at it that she was knocked over, or uh, you know, but it wasn't us that knocked it over. Someone knocked her over, and when it's moved over there, they may not come. It's the people in this neighborhood that have asked for it, so we've left it here. I, you know, I don't know how to explain any more uh, about what the issue is. Uh, you know, and today is the Queenship of Mary. I don't know if, how many of you knew that. It's a queenship of Mary, and we have the window that was up in the choir loft is the, now the one above the altar. The queenship of Mary. You know, and she's seeing division in the community. And so, you know, okay, you, you can give the smirk that you'd like. I'm not smirking. Yeah, There's well, nothing it's, to smirk about. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. There's nothing to smirk about. I, I've, I've had, yes, I've had plenty of exchanges. But he was aware of you guys. Coming here and caring this much, um, I mm, think he I don't, was. I don't a, think so. some, yeah, he, he didn't, didn't just drive by. Yeah, I don't think he knew we were coming today to meet with him. Well, I've been calling him, but I know that he's out during on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so maybe he's on vacation. Message. He just yes. kept that distance. So. Um, what did you think about the the jacket? I think that we just learned what happened with that. The thing about it is, you know, I thought I was doing something nice uh, for the Blessed Mother, and to put my heart. Um, to make my heart feel better about her being out in the cold and being alone. So the jacket, I think Father Ron made me feel like putting the jacket on her was disrespectful and uh, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I was trying to give myself and the Blessed Mother some comfort by putting the jacket on. If, because there are so many people that have asked, all he had to do, like Daryl said, is to present what was going to happen to the Blessed Mother after Mass or before Mass to tell all of us instead of us all wondering is she going to be here all by herself? Now Father Ron said today when the property gets sold she will leave and go um, to Tingsboro. What if this property doesn't sell for a hundred years? Am I not? I think it's been two years already. Right, right. exactly. Right. But she could be here forever so Right. It's, how it just how doesn't does that make, make sense. You, I don't know. The whole thing just does not make sense to me. It just it's sad. And yeah. um, Father Ron basically said too that the Blessed Mother is everywhere and of course I know that, but when you go by three or four times a day and you see her, I know she it's a statue, but it's still it's still the Blessed Mother. It represents a lot to us. Yeah. The way I look at it too is if it's going to come to the church, the new church, why isn't it being properly taken care of? I mean, a little paint job, yeah, it needs some repairs, but right now a little paint job to it would do wonders. And, I mean, you got to preserve it to keep it. 